Can you tell the jury whether in furtherance of your conspiracy you engaged in activities that included preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory of YSL through acts of racketeering activity, including murder, assault, and threats of violence. She said, did I? Did you conspire with others? No, not by my knowledge. To participate in this enterprise I'm that is YSL. I'm going to ask another question. I okay. don't understand it. Yeah, he shouldn't, okay. have let, he shouldn't have answered the question. Did you hide from YSL members that you sold drugs? <laughs> what, could you, what type of question is that? Did you hide it? from YSL that you sold drugs. I never told them I sold drugs. That's not the question. No, I didn't hide it from anybody but the police. Okay. <laughs> That's a great answer. Is it Shout fair to say to it was known among members of YSL that you sold drugs? What them know? Sustained. <clears throat> That's when you say, I don't are know you thug, aware you whether know I drugs? members of YSL, are you personally aware whether other YSL members knew that you sold drugs? Maybe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is the picture that I showed you yesterday of you and Mr. McMiller that was labeled and admitted as states 426Y? Was this taken at 151 Cleveland Avenue? Yes, I had pulled up that because I seen him. Yes. Okay. Who took the picture? I don't know. I don't recall who took the picture. All right. You spoke about guns earlier and always having guns. What kind of guns did you personally carry with you in 2015? I don't remember a gun that I carry, Miss Love. I I don't mean make and model. I mean just generally the types. In a video, you see I had an assault rifle. So. How I many? Mean, you showed the jury that too. How many? And this whole courtroom. How many assault rifles did you have? Enough. I I don't know, Miss Miss Love. I don't recall how many I had. Where did you get your guns? I paid for them. I, where did you get them? Off the streets. Okay. <laughs> did you get any from Quindarius Zachary? Did I get any guns from Quindarius? Did no. Quindarius Zachary ever buy guns for you? No. Do you know if Quindarius Zachary bought guns for any other member of YSL? I know he was accused and arrested for it, so. I'm not asking that. I'm just asking if no, you have. No, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, she asked you that question. You just say enough. How many guns you got? A lot. How many? On the night 21 that Savage gave y'all the whole the house playbook. was shot up in the Martin Luther King area off of Adel Avenue. What kind of guns did you, Garlington and Zachary, have? I didn't have a gun. Okay. How many guns were in the car? I don't recall. Since you said you there always carry guns, why didn't you have a gun? Because I didn't have a gun that night. Okay. What What was special about that night such that you didn't need a gun? I believe I left it at home by mistake, just moving too fast that day. Okay. What, why were you moving so fast? We all move too fast sometimes and leave stuff behind. Okay. Were you moving to you, protect Garlington? Knowing? Sustained. Did you have any intention of looking out for Garlington when you left the house? We was together, but nobody knew anything was going to transpire that night. Okay. 
when you went back, did you say, and forgive me if I got it wrong, so you have to correct me, did you say that you left and came back and picked up Garlington? I left the club. Uh-huh. Yes. Did you go home? No, I didn't make it home. All right. Where are you going with this? And Ms. when Love? you and Garlington went to pick up Mr. Zachary, um, did Mr. Zachary live near where you lived at the time? No. What? How far away from where you picked up Mr. Garlington did you have to go to pick up Mr. Zachary? I don't know the mileage or none of that, Ms. Love. I'm not a... I'm not asking that. I'm I don't just know. asking generally. I don't know. Right. Was it across town in another city or what? I don't know. It wasn't another city. Did Mr. Zachary get in your car with a gun? Yes. What kind of gun? I don't recall. Was it a handgun or an assault rifle? I don't, or something else? You don't know. I don't recall. Um, I don't know if it, I think it was a assault rifle. I don't recall. Okay. Did you ask him what he was going to do with it? <laughs> no, I didn't ask him. Did you ask him whether it was loaded? No. Why not? He better not have a gun. <laughs> Why you say he better not have a gun that's not loaded? Man, nobody in the world better have a gun that ain't loaded. What you doing with it? <laughs> Why do you keep looking mistake. to your left in I'm the direction of at you. the defendants? Okay. I'm not afraid. Looking at anybody I'm over not there? afraid of nobody over there. So let's get that straight. I'm just telling you that. Did that's, you hear me assert that me. you were afraid of I, anybody? I'm just, I'm bringing that to your attention. I'm bringing that to your attention. Sustained. I ain't slow, Miss Love, no. Right. I'm not intimidated by you or nobody in this courtroom. As well, you should not be. Right. Talk to him. <laughs> he says, <laughs> getting on my well, What about? Break. Can I take a break? Can I take a five minute break? <sighs> we just got started. Yeah, but. Let's just keep going. Okay. What about the gas station at 221 Cleveland He's Avenue referenced in factual acknowledgement number 15? Would you tell the jury who it is Get it together, among Martin your Talk. YSL associates that sells drugs at 221 Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia? That's the same question from the same. It's going to be the same outside answer for outside, outside, outside number 14. So... The same YSL associates that sold drugs and didn't allow gangs to operate at 151 today, Rodney. sold drugs. The statement of the testimony. He never said, he never testified that people did not allow others to operate. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's in the factual assertion that she's going over right now. Go ahead, Ms. Love. Over yeah, and just in case y'all are wondering what Max Shart is crying about, and he's 1,000% wrong, is number 14. The gas station at Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, and for those of y'all who are just joining us and haven't seen this, this is the plea deal that was signed by Antonio Sledge, a.k.a. Moon Tunk, also known as the man who is up on the stand right now, getting sick of his love. The gas station, and he said that he acknowledges that the gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is one of multiple locations where YSL associates, and listen to this, sell drugs and do not allow other gangs to operate. Number 15, the gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is another location where YSL associates sell drugs and do not permit other gangs to operate. You signed it. Thank you. And to be clear, is is that what you testified to a moment ago that YSL associates sell drugs and do not allow other gangs to operate at 151 Cleveland Avenue and 221 Cleveland Avenue? I think I see that no one of uh, our friends will come to the gas station where we at. I think that was my answer. Did you acknowledge that the entirety of the sentence that is number 14 in the factual acknowledgments was true earlier before lunch? Yes. 
And so does that sentence say the gas station? It say, it say allowed, but <laughs> I just know no. Will you I, let me finish the question? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Does it say the gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is one of multiple locations where YSL associates sell drugs and do not allow other gangs to operate? If you want to be faster, we want to allow no one who's not our friend around us. How did you keep people who weren't your friends from being around you? We didn't keep no one. They just didn't show up. You just said we wouldn't allow. We wouldn't allow. allow because we'll be uncomfortable. How did you keep them from doing it then? How did you not allow them? I'll just tell you, you're not my friend. Why do why you want to hang around me? You ain't my friend. Did that keep people from being around you who weren't YSL? A lot of people. Because I'm not going to allow you to be around me if you're not my friend. I don't trust you. Are these people that respected you that mm -hmm. you did not allow to operate at 151 Cleveland Avenue and 221 Cleveland Avenue People that you would consider ops to YSL? I couldn't say that because I don't know no op that tried to come up to the gas station. Well, mm -hmm. what other gangs did you keep from operating at 151 Cleveland and 221 Cleveland I Avenue? I don't know if they was gangs or not, but if they was gangs, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to come up there. Dang. Since you said That's all sad, of the man. statements in 14 and 15 are true, and you said you did not allow other gangs to operate. What gangs did you all keep from operating at 151 Cleveland and 221 Cleveland Avenue? I don't know the name of the gang. How did you know they were gangs? They probably had a flag on or something like that. What's a flag? I guess a do-rag. I don't know. You guess a do-rag? <laughs> yeah. They used to have their little colors hanging off them. I don't know exactly what it was. Sad, man. Um... When you say colors hanging off them, please describe so the jury is understanding what you mean. For the jury, not me. That's what they state, the uh, the gang unit state, anybody who well. Um, wait a minute. Flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I don't, I don't know that. I'm asking you how you know. knew, not the gang unit. I don't know. I don't know if it was true or they were false. I don't know. Okay. Regardless of whether they were actual gang members or they were false flagging. How is it OD, that you ready. kept people that you observed? You asking the same question, Ms. Lord, that I already answered. You asking it in a different way. Just move on to your next question. You asking the same question in three, four different ways. Do you think that you're... I, He's right. Y'all, I need to take a break. My head Which, hurt. You're probably not the only one, but we're going to wait a few minutes before we break again. <laughs> She's making my oh, blood thanks, pressure Judge. go up for real. I got her blood Take some deep breaths. Uh, Lee. It takes a deep breath. Is I, if I gang you. one of the gangs that y'all did not allow to operate at 151 Cleveland and 221 Cleveland? I don't know. Did you ever see them operating there? No, I never seen them in that area. When you say in that area, are you meaning in the Cleveland Avenue area? Yes, I've never seen in the Cleveland Avenue area. All right. Do you know what area If Gang generally occupied? No. Do you need me to get you some water? I need you to just come on, let's get this over with. Because you keep asking me the same questions three, four times. My answer is not going to change. Let's try and get through it, okay? Yeah, my answer is not going to change. Okay. I don't remember because at that time I was going to a lot when my mother was sick. So I didn't remember. I don't remember. Did your lawyer read them to you by any chance? I don't remember. Uh, That's I don't good, JC. remember, Ms. Love. Were you given, uh, did, you, did you have to raise your hand and swear? that you understood each of those sentencing acknowledgements in section five on pages five and seven, I'm sorry, five I, and six. I most definitely raised my hand because I was desperate to get back to my mama when I took that plea. But I'm answering all my questions, all your questions to the best of my knowledge. Thank you. So 
let's talk she's about... She's getting nowhere with this dude. I don't know what she's talking about. Getting back to your mother. Um, I don't want to talk about my mother. I do not. I'm say. not. Um, I'm going um, to not talk about your mom, okay? Yeah. I'm talking about what you just told the jury. Were you in Rice Street at the time that you went over these acknowledgments with your lawyer? I consider this courthouse as Rice Street, so yes. Right. I was Rice Street property. Did you yeah. ask him questions? Did I ask him questions? Your lawyer? Yeah, I told him a lot of things that you stated on this paper wasn't what I said, so I, some of the stuff I didn't agree to. Okay. Did you ask him to come back and tell somebody from the state? He did come back and tell you from my knowledge. So while you were asking him and telling him that, did you also ask him what the sentencing acknowledgments meant? No, I didn't really. I didn't ask that question. Is there any particular reason you didn't? I just told you I was just trying to get my sick mother. Okay. Yep. Move on, Miss Love. She keeps going over this because she doesn't have anything. And she's trying to make it clear that your honor at the plea is is no good at this. Let point. me ask you. I'm sorry. I needed to ask you. What was the offer made to you? <clears throat> In exchange for your plea of guilty, what offer did the state make to you? To get up there and tell my truth, right? That's what no. I'm telling you. I'm telling you my truth. Not I told you to get up there and my say understanding what they want was, to say. When I took this deal, I would be able to explain you my truth because I don't know whoever even stated this stuff to you. When you say you don't know who stated this stuff to me, please because somebody had to, you had to come up with it some type of way for some for it to be on this paper. It ain't nothing that I said to you. That's my understanding. I didn't say it to you. Did this, you did you swear that those were true? He did. Yes, I did. Yep, she got him. Would you tell the jury whether you and unindicted co-conspirators, along with some indicted co-conspirators, between January 24, 2013 and May 8, 2022, conspired unlawfully to acquire, maintain, directly and indirectly an interest in and control of United States currency and other personal property through a pattern of racketeering activity and conspired to conduct, participate in, directly and indirectly, such enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. He doesn't know what that means. Between January 24, 2013 and May 8, 2022. I don't remember, Ms. Love. I don't remember. Can you tell the jury whether you conspired to associate with others to illegally obtain money and property by participating in the enterprise that is YSL through a pattern of racketeer, racketeering activity? No, I don't recall that. Can you tell the jury whether in furtherance of your conspiracy, you engaged in activities that included preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory of YSL through acts of racketeering activity, including murder, assault, and threats of violence. You said, did I? Did you conspire with others? No, not by my knowledge. To participate 
in this enterprise I'm that answer, is YSL? I'm going to answer another that question. I okay. don't understand it. Did you and other YSL members act in any way to protect or preserve or enhance the reputation and power of YSL by posting messages, images, videos, and songs that demonstrated your allegiance to YSL and your willingness to engage in violence on its behalf. Your Honor, this is a... I'm still going to object to leading. To what? Leading. I'm going to overrule that one. What are you saying, Miss Love? She said, what are you saying, Miss Love? These are things we allege that this witness has stated or agreed to. He has... On December 28th, 2022. I'll just leave it at that. Get a, get a mic, Brian. Well, I mean, May she's I asking him if he did. No. Yes, Your Honor. That you said we. Yeah. Right. Well, you rephrased it that way, so I think you need to stick to the phraseology that you're permitted to ask, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Coaching her up again. Did you conspire Jeez. with other members of YSL to preserve, protect, and enhance the reputation, power, and territory of the enterprise known as YSL by posting messages, images, videos, and songs demonstrating your allegiance to the enterprise and a willingness to engage in violence on its behalf. You might be right, Rashida. All right, that's overruled. You may answer the question. Could you repeat it? Yes. Oh Did you God, conspire why? with other members of YSL to preserve, protect, and enhance the reputation, power, and territory of YSL? He's going to say no. By posting messages, images, videos and songs demonstrating allegiance to YSL and a willingness to engage in violence on behalf of YSL. Did you do that? Yes. No. All right. What? At any time. Uh, did he say yes? Oh, man. To engage in violence on behalf of YSL. Did you do that? Yes. All right. At any time, did you remain armed Yikes. and ready and willing to preserve, protect, and enhance the reputation, power, and territory of YSL through the use of violence? No, I stay armed for myself. No. Okay. Did you conspire with any other YSL members to do that? No. You may. Okay. Did you obtain or did you conspire with others to obtain money, weapons, and other property oh. through acts including robbery, theft, and the unlawful sale and distribution of drugs? No. Shut to Mike. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Did you conspire with other members of YSL? To obstruct law enforcement investigations and court proceedings through witness intimidation and attacks upon law enforcement officers. Could you repeat that and make it? Could you say what I can understand? Yes. Because I didn't understand what you were saying. Okay. And you're going to have to tell me which part you're, you're not understanding. Okay? I don't understand the whole question, whatever you say. Did you... And other members of YSL with you, did y'all conspire to obstruct law enforcement investigations and or court proceedings through witness intimidation and attacks upon law enforcement officers? Right. Miss Love, make sure that this, you're asking 
about what he did. And he can, I, I, I mean, he I understood be... all of the other ones that you asked him. So okay. it's not the beginning of. All right. We got to coast. Should... We got to coast but the defense did. again. Miss, oh, we got to coast Love. the prosecution. Witness. Let me see what she's trying I to ask. And other members of YSL who you're not understanding. Okay? I don't understand the whole question. Whatever you say. Did you. Where's she reading from? And other members of YSL with you. Did y'all conspire to obstruct law enforcement investigations and or court proceedings through witness intimidation and attacks upon law enforcement All right. officers? Miss, yeah, miss. It's not that complicated. So did y'all ever threaten anybody and say if they talked to the police, there were going to be issues? Did you and anybody who associated with YSL ever threaten someone and tell them not to talk to the police? Which well, I believe is sure what she's trying this, to ask. You're asking about what he did and he can, I, I, I mean, he I understood be, all of the other ones that you asked him. OC, so OGA it's not the beginning of that question seven, that seems to be that confusing says, him. Lady's crazy. I'll break it up. Why don't I, you, okay. Yeah, thank okay. You. Sustained. All right. Isn't did your you job to ask questions? Lady? Did you and other members of YSL? Did you ever? That's cons- the issue. That's, That's the one issue. of the issues. We at okay. YSL. Did you conspire with anyone within YSL? No. 